It's nice to be. Yeah, it's nice to be. Yeah. To not be fighting. I can be a fan tonight. Yes. So why looking so sharp today, man? I'm just looking good because I'm the I'm the next champ, the next welterweight champ. So I gotta look good. I gotta look fresh. Seems like uh, getting the the welterweight champ to defend it against a uh, a welterweight in timely fashion might be difficult here. What are your thoughts? You know, I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm curious to see how this is gonna turn out too. Because uh, if he does choose to fight Anderson, it's gonna kind of, you know, as uh, as Ferris said, he, he might be done after that. So I don't know. I, I was hoping that I'd be able to still. Um, potentially fight him before he retires, but uh, you know, I respect his choice. He's done what, you know, not many of people have, well, anybody's done in the sport, so. What would you think if you decided that he wanted to fight Anderson instead? I mean, obviously it seems like a fight that a lot of people want to see, but mm -hmm. as a guy who's kind of waiting in line there, what would you think about it? Yeah, you know, um, as a competitor, I don't want to see him do that, but you know, if I was in his shoes, that, that's probably what I would do. You know, it's like, really, what more can you, can you accomplish? Um, you know, being the, one of the best fighters, you know, pound for pound in the world, um, fight, fight Anderson Silva and then, and then retire. I mean, there's, you know, unless he just wants to continue to compete, but, um, you know, in his position, there's, there's nowhere but down. You, you can't really get any higher, you know, you, you've defended E for years, so it's, it's a tough position to be in, you know. I, I understand it as, as a, as a fighter, I, I would like to, to see him continue to defend the title, but, you know, I'm not in his shoes. It's been a little heat on Facebook, on Twitter, with people calling you out, you talking back to them. How, 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 what, what's going on with you, Jake? You know, I, uh, it's it's funny. It's entertaining, though. Yeah. It is really. <laughs> I, I've I've been there. You know, when, when you're in a, a a position to to be a contender, then, then yeah. people want to take your spot. And, you know, I understand it. But um, you know, I, I'm really done. To, I'm kind of in a position where it's just uh, you know they they choose who I fight. And, and if you really believe that you're the best in the world, then then, you, then you'll fight whoever mm -hmm. they tell you. So. You know, for me to keep just keep training and get better. So it's it's good. To, it's cool to be in the, the position that I'm in, though. But you understand that a win over you really means a lot to people. So that's a good thing and a bad thing, I would think, for you mentally. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, same thing with uh, with me wanting to fight Hendricks. You know what I mean? It's not personal. I want I want to be where, where the position that he was in. So uh, yeah, you know, I get it. Um, and and I, I really don't want to be. Um, you know, I'm not looking to fight everybody in the division. I'm looking to fight for the title and then move on. So. Do you want to fight Rory? Yeah, absolutely. I, I you know what, he, he's, um, he's been, uh, he's been one of the young studs coming up. He's like the new generation, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of, um, a lot of confidence behind him, you know, training, obviously training with GSP and, um, I've, I've, he's kind of been a guy I've always been like, you know, we're, we'll meet eventually and, and, and it excites me because, you know, I really, uh, stylistically, it's a, it's a great matchup. He's, he's great everywhere, you know, um, has he really, been tested, or, or he really hasn't fought an, um, an opponent like me, so that's what um, is, is an exciting fight to watch. But and to be part of the Fox card too is, is another. It's a bonus for me. So. so you think you've faced more difficult competition than he has to date? Yeah, you know I, I would agree. Um, you know I've, I've been in his position. He's young. He's hungry. I mean he, he fought Carlos Condit. You know the only guy in the top ten I believe that he's fought he lost to, which was Carlos Condit. Um, so you know. It, He's kind of in a position too, where he's getting to the point where you know you can't, you're not, you can't choose your fight. So uh, I, I'm excited to, to match him, though. Is there you kind of throughout your career you've been known as a silent killer? You know, you're not you're not one to be exuberant on the mic, but you go into the cage and you you starch people. It's kind of your mo. Is there any pressure to up the talk? You know, kind of Sonnen esque, I guess, in the in that <laughs> department. Um, well, you know, at the at the end of the day, really, um, winning fights is, is gonna speak louder you know, I think actions do speak louder than words um, you know you can get fights you really you really lot before but at the end of the day it comes down to winning so um, you know, being in the top 10 even in the top five it's gonna get a uh, you start to get in a position where you really um, you can't choose who you fight and uh, you really just get, you know you surely gotta to show action and win fights so that's just kind of where I'm at now you know I'm, I'm uh, just just training to get better and, and uh, looking forward to, to fighting Rory now well, you seem pretty self-aware. You're talking about how you're stoked for this fight card. You, you get to be a fan. Yeah. You've got to be pretty aware that people are kind of salivating for a Rory McDonald Jake Ellenberger match. Strip yourself away from it for a second. Mm -hmm. Take yourself out. How do you build that fight? How do you look at that fight? And those two are going to meet in the cage. Yeah, I mean, it, again, as a fan, I would look at this fight and be like, damn, that's a, that's a fascinating <laughs> fight. You know, I'm Absolutely. That's why I asked <laughs> For sure, and you know, I, I talked to uh, I talked to Joe Silva for a while. He's 
he's he was so excited to put this fight together, um, as well as the fans are too. So, you know, for me, um, I have always performed better. Um, you know, being not having like I don't know how do I put this. Um, you know, just just kind of not having the, the, the pressure on on me, which there, there's pressure every fight, so it's kind of not the best analogy to use. But um, especially as you rise through the ranks. Yeah, you know, and, and you know they're claiming this kid to be the next GSP, the, the next, the, the, the dominating division. Well, I, I I disagree. You know what I mean? I, I um, yeah, I've been working my whole life to be in this position that I'm in now. So um, yeah, I absolutely believe that I'll beat him. And, and uh, I don't think his, his I really don't think his, his chin's been tested. You know, I've I've heard um, I've seen him be dropped by Che Mills. I've seen him be you know been dropped in, in fights, and uh, you know he's been able to. He does a lot of things good, but he doesn't do anything spectacular you know what I mean so if you're comparing Rory to, to GSP they're, they're two completely different fighters and two different athletes so uh, but yeah I, I um, you know I absolutely I absolutely believe I'll, I'll beat Rory you know it's it's a great stylistic matchup has there been any clear indication that the winner of this fight will be uh, next to mine for the world's world title I've been told that I've been told that the this is this will be the number one contender that, but um Again, it's not in writing, so you never a hundred percent sure. Kind but of yeah. just hearsay. And exactly. So verbally, you know, verbally, I've been told, yeah, this, you know, the winner of this fight will be the, the number one contender. But and we're still kind of, you know, in the, in the cloud to see what happens with with Hendricks and GSP. So. It's, and you know, knowing that, having been told that, is there? You talked about pressure before, and there's pressure in every fight. But is there any additional pressure, any additional motivation stemming from the fact that this could put you in the number one contender spot with the win? No, not any more than usual. You know, you would think so, but really not, because you know it doesn't matter if you're fighting in the first fight in the prelim or, or the main event. You know, you're, you still have to, you know, you, there's, you have to still still deal with the same things. You're still, you know, you're still walking out there, and, and you're still fighting in front of the crowd. So it's um, it, it's more just how you deal with that mentally, you know, and. Uh, I mean, I've, I've not, you know, I've had about 40 fights, so I've, I've, you think it would get easier, and it doesn't. You think it would, but it doesn't. But um, yeah, you know, Rory, uh, I love it. He's he's got a lot of hype around him, and um, you know, it's. I think the best comes out when uh, you know when people say, "Oh man, Rory's gonna, Rory's gonna run through you." And like, I, I like being in that position. You know what I mean? I like being uh, being that guy. So. It doesn't get under your skin at all. Not at all. Think he's gonna run no, not at all, because. You know, it's it's funny when people talk about um, training and fighting. Like, I get uh, in training, I get beat every day. You know, there's days where you're just like, "What am I doing?" You know, "Why am I doing?" It? And it doesn't really matter what happens in training. You know what I mean? I, I get to train with some of the best guys in the world every day, and it's very it's, it's very discouraging. But I mean, I'll put myself in, in positions, um, and it really comes down to where where what are you what are you willing to not do? You know, outside of the fight to you know, to make sure you, you succeed in the octagon. And, and for me, it's anything. I'll, I'll, I'll put myself in any bad scenario, bad position, you know, and, uh, you know, it's really not having, having that ego, but um, it gives me that, that confidence in there that, you know, there's, there, there, I'm for sure not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna get broken in a fight. So it, it's, it's more confidence building than anything. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.